Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm just going to show you how to get started with the No Man's Sky base editor for Blender. So once you've installed Blender, you'll be uh, presented with this screen once you've opened it. And the first thing we're going to do is set up our screen layout. Uh, by screen layout, I mean uh, all of the sort of user interface components that you see on the screen by default. Because uh, a lot of this stuff is actually unnecessary uh, and takes up a bit of space um, when we just want to deal with No Man's Sky. So what we need to do is um, find the screen layout options, which is this top bit here. At the moment it's a default, and just to show you what happens when we change it, we can go to uh, 3D full view, uh, animation, uh, compositing, and so on. So that's, that's the kind of thing we're dealing with here. So let's go back to default. Um, and what we want to do is press the plus button here, and we can call it something like No Man Sky. Press enter. So uh, this um, creates a new screen screen layout, which is now in the list. And we can basically start configuring the user interface how we want. And in this video, I'm just going to show you uh, the way that I like to to have the No Man's Sky interface. Um, obviously, you can configure it however, however way you want uh, based on whether or not you use Blender before. Um, so what I like to do is expand this panel here. And the way we can do that is by getting rid of this lower panel. And to do that, we can find this little triangle corner bit here. If we hold down our mouse on here and move it down, you'll see this arrow appear. This just means that it's just going to expand the upper panel uh, into the lower panel and get rid of it. So if we let go, um, that does that expands the panel. Um, we don't need to worry about the left side because this is where the No Man's Sky tool will live. Uh, we can think about that a bit later. Um, but what I also like to do is get rid of the timeline stuff because we don't need this either. Uh, so from here, we can find this triangle down here. And the same way that we expanded the outliner, uh, we can move it down and get rid of the timeline. Um, we can't get rid of this bit and it's actually uh, fairly useful to have this bit as well. Um, the reason why I like having the outliner here is because um, it just shows you a big list of all the items in your scene. So you can easily select stuff uh, and this will be useful for No Man's Sky. So once we've got to this, pa uh, this bit, uh, we can go to File and User Preferences uh, to actually load the plugin. Um, what you want to do is go to Add-ons and um, this will show you by default a list of all of the add-ons that Blender can load. Um, by default it actually has a lot of stuff unloaded. Um, but what we want to do is find this button down here called Install Add-on from File. And we want to point this to the download from GitHub or wherever you got the, the plugin from. Um, in my case, I've just put it in the desktop uh, called nmsblender.zip. This might be called something else depending on, on uh, what the release is. So if I double click on this, it will place No Man's Sky uh, base editor in the search field and it will show you uh, the entry. And then what we can do is press this button here, which will load it. Um, once it's loaded, it will show uh, you an extra tab on the left uh, called NMS, or whatever way it's called. And this is how we view the tool. Um, what we can do is also expand this little bit here because this is not going to be used, so we can move that just down. Um, by default also this list appears uh, quite short and we can actually have flexibility over this. So we can just grab this handle here and move that down. Um, and that is how uh, you install the No Man's Sky uh, base building tool for Blender. Uh, in the next video we'll go over some use cases and actually show you how to, to start using it. But before I finish, uh, we actually need to save this screen layout as part of our um, Blender settings. Because if we close Blender now, uh, we'll lose all of this, um, or all the stuff that we've set up. So what we need to do is go to File, and go to Save Startup File, uh, and then press this button here once you've clicked that. 
Um, so once we've closed Blender now and we reopen it, we'll be presented exactly how um, we left it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again soon.